Good morning, good morning, tribe. How are you? I hope today is an awesome day. It's a manifesting day, and today will be better than yesterday, and tomorrow is going to be even better than today. Yeah. I just wanted to stop by, and if you hear somebody in the background, that, that's my little jelly bean, so she says good morning, too. <laughs> so I have to come by, and if you've been here since day one, you already know. You already know. Starbucks, you need to start sponsoring me. You really do. I know y'all are a billion dollar industry and whatever, but. So, and I'm about to get some stock. I'm about to get some stock. So if you've been here since day one, you already know I'm, I'm addicted to Starbucks. Hello, my name is Chevy. I'm addicted to Starbucks. So now that we got that out the way, I knew I was addicted, but yesterday, if I ever questioned how bad my Starbucks addiction was, I received my answer yesterday. So I dropped the oldest princess off. She had a uh, APS test for school. So I dropped her off. I ordered my Starbucks online. I'm getting ready to go to my usual spot um, when I'm out here by work. I go ahead and I do that. When I dropped her off, I noticed that the heat in my car started blowing cold. So I'm like, okay, what's that about? I made sure I didn't accidentally put the AC on or whatever. Don't know what was going on. Within one minute, I noticed that the temperature gauge started rising and rising and rising and rising in my car. And I'm like, okay, okay. Within 30 seconds of it rising all the way to the top, a warning came on in my car talking about my coolant is overheating my coolant is open i'm like what the hell so at this point i'm at a red light right so when the light turns green i proceed to take off and it feels like i am driving through thick mud or i have like a thousand pound person behind me i'm pulling it was extremely like struggling all of a sudden, it looked like my, my car having a cigarette. I'm seeing steam and smoke coming from up under the hood. Oh no, I was about to leave up in the middle of the intersection. So I hurry up, I pull over, cut everything off, and I'm like, what is going on? Call my husband, he's like, sounds like you might have a leak or something's going on, blah, blah, blah. So I said, okay, well, I'm gonna sit here for like 15, 20 minutes, let it cool off. Remember what I said? I ordered my Starbucks already as soon as I dropped off the princess. So, I sat there tribe for 12 to 15 minutes. I got the notification, my coffee was ready. Now I done spent $8, $8 on this coffee. I started my car. I noticed my temperature gauge came down a little bit. Now mind you, I'm driving past work where I have a personalized parking spot where I could have just pulled my ass in, sat there until I figured out my next move with my car because at this point it's seven something in the morning not a lot of things are open. No, what does Chevy do? I drive past my safety place. My, where I could just go and be safe and know I'm not gonna get hit. Mm -mm. I keep chugga, 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 chugga all the way to Starbucks. Cause you know what I thought? I'm gonna go get my Starbucks and I'm gonna sit in a parking lot for 20 minutes while I sip. Try, I need help, I need help. I came home and I told my husband, I done rolled to Starbucks with my car a jerking and a rolling and a twerking and smoking a cigarette to Starbucks. I could have stopped, now mind you, I'm on a busy street. So needless to say, it would have been dangerous for my car to cut off right there. No, but the Starbucks and my $8 was worth me risking my life. I need help. I think I might need inpatient. I might need inpatient because this, this, is, this is horrible. And like I said in a previous video, I stopped cold turkey when I added up how much I was spending at Starbucks and it was in the hundreds. I'm, I'm not gonna embarrass myself that much. I stopped cold turkey and then maybe about eight months to a year, I didn't have any Starbucks. My birthday or something came around or for whatever reason, someone gave me a gift card. Well, I'm not gonna waste a gift card. And Pandora's box opened all over again. Pray for me tribe. I was willing 
to get cut off in the middle of the intersection. And you know what I would have did? I'd have left my car with the hazard lights on and continued my little couple block walk and then came back and hope nobody hit the car. So I was gonna get my Starbucks and I was not gonna waste my $8. So y'all pray for me. And so I'm, I'm letting y'all know how bad it is. Not for y'all to judge me, not for y'all to come for me, but for y'all to pray for me, <laughs> send me some good vibes. This is horrible. And mind you, I go to Starbucks sometimes twice a day. I I have been to Starbucks three times in one day before. A few times. I know. Isn't that horrible? Yeah. And there you have it. Hey, 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 my tribe, my tribe, how are you? Today is Saturday. Beautiful outside. It has been a rainy week here in the Shy. It is finally sunny outside of course y'all already know where i'm at y'all already know where i'm at in the driveway of starbucks if you know you know and if you don't it's a problem it's a problem why because that means you ain't been here from day one and i want to know why we good over here we manifestors over here we supporters over here mm -mm. haters don't pass the pre-screen and if you slip through we get you right on up out of here but anywho um this is the day before mother's day my face uh, about three times a year i get a blemish and it shows mother's day weekend i'm trying to remember the last thing we talked about i think i was telling y'all how my car stopped i am still in a rental car i don't think i ever told you all um boy they be getting i mean they get attitudes in this starbucks line child you better not act like you about to jump in front mm. I don't know because I, I, I have attitude too. But anywho, um, I don't think I ever told you all what happened with my car. My water pump needs to be replaced. My spark plugs, a valve component. Something got flooded by the coolant because of the leak in the water pump. Then it was some of this and some of that and some of this and some of that that I don't remember. I can't recall. I don't even know what the hell it do. I just know it ain't doing what it's supposed to do. So, grand total came up to $3,200. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Uh, but when I tell y'all I rolled in 80 miles before my warranty expired, come on, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. Uh, so, my out-of-pocket expense is uh, a little over $1,000. So, I'll take it. I'll take it. I say it all the time. Cars are a luxury, but they are absolutely a responsibility. It is so much more to a car than a car note and insurance and getting oil changes and putting gas in it. It is so much deeper. But anyway, I am grateful and appreciative that life goes on and don't stop no show and it is what it is. So I just wanted to stop in. I have not checked in with you guys since my catastrophe and my admitting to you all that my addiction was so much deeper than I thought when I was driving a car that I didn't know if it was gonna blow up or stop to Starbucks. I, if I was gonna die, I was gonna die happy. I was gonna die with my Starbucks. <laughs> so um, I hope you all have a wonderful Mother's Day. I will absolutely be checking in with you all before that. But even if that's just sitting in a quiet room, reflecting and, and checking in with yourself, loving on yourself, I would like to, I lost an associate. We weren't necessarily friends, but we were very, very cool associates earlier this week. Um, she literally was coming off of a cruise boat and, you know, something that she absolutely loved to do, did many times and had a stroke and um, went into cardiac arrest and passed away. So... I want to extend my condolences to her children, her family, her grandchildren. That was definitely one of those situations you did not see coming. There was no, it was just no evidence something was going to go wrong that day. Or that, you know, when she left home to have a wonderful time and board that boat, that would be her last time seeing her family. Um, and, you know, she wasn't that much older than myself. She was, you know, mid to late 40s and um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful young lady um, has supported my channel and my YouTube journey, has watched videos, commented on videos, um, 
you know, just, just very pleasant and active in my life and supporting me. And, you know, so I just, I say all of that to say uh, for the children who are missing their mothers this Mother's Day, for the mothers who are missing their children this Mother's Day, um, if you all are no longer able to have this physical existence with one another, or for whatever reason you all are estranged, please just pick up the phone. It, it just takes somebody to break the ice. It just takes somebody to step away from their ego. Um, because for me, one of my biggest regrets or have found it to be other people's biggest regret is when the opportunity to reconcile or the opportunity to just say I'm sorry or I love you has passed and now you are filled with regrets and the shoulda woulda couldas and you know the thing that had you all broken you know all of a sudden it's just really not a big deal anymore right so um and to those who don't have that option because you don't share this physical existence anymore um know that you are loved know that you sh still share the spiritual existence so talk to your loved ones tell them out loud that you love them think of the good time and the memories uh you know pull out the old videos and and the and the pictures talk of them you know still share the moment and the experience of the day with them even if it's not physical so I know that I love you and like I always say ain't a damn thing y'all can do about it you can try you can try it's gonna be a waste of time it's gonna be a waste of time because I'm gonna love you anyway and I'm gonna want the best for you anyway so why waste the energy you could be doing something productive you know so anywho I would check back in with you all I am going to dinner and doing some things today and um, got some plans and stuff for tomorrow. So I will check back in with you all throughout the day. And in the meantime, in between time, do what you got to do to manifest the life that you want. Because I want to hear all about it. Hi, can I have a venti pink drink? And can I have peach juice and raspberry syrup added along with sweet cream foam? Give me one moment. Hey Trap, I had to pop back in. As you just saw, I was at Starbucks getting my drink and I was in the mood for a refresher. And I usually get the strawberry, I'm sorry, the pink drink or like the kiwi dragon fruit, right? So I watch a vlogger by the name of Platinum D. Please go support her. This young lady is around about my age. Um, a mother, entrepreneur, if you like vlogs that's bougie on a budget or watching entrepreneurs who are giving you tricks how to expand your business, get more bang for your buck, some of the best places to go for your supplies, that type of stuff. She's a mother, she recently just lost her son. So she's been kind of taking you along with her through her grieving process. Um, and she's just a down to earth person. So please, please, please go. And she's a well-established YouTuber and, and vlogger and all of that, but there's never, ever too much support one person can receive so please go and support her and encourage her through just expansion of her businesses and just you know just the the broken heartedness a parent feels as they're grieving the loss of their child but as i was watching one of her recent vlogs she wants to start went to starbucks and i believe she usually gets the strawberry refresher too but she put a twist to it i believe she got it from tiktok or somewhere too but she got the pink drink, added peach juice, raspberry syrup, and the sweet cream foam on top. So I did the same. Probably don't look that pretty no more. Baby, Platinum D, I don't know whether to hug you or, or be mad at you because as, as we all know, as a person who has made no secrets about being a Starbucks crackhead, that's the worst thing an addict can do is to find a way to take their hit to another level. Baby, this here, good God almighty. Mm. Mm. Oh my God. Yeah, so if you are interested, let me put it to the screen. Y'all could just see it. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Let me see something real quick. No, 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 no. Okay, I just want to make sure. Y'all got it? Take a screenshot, do whatever you want to do. 
If you like the pink drink, if you like strawberry, if you like, you know, because the pink drink has coconut milk in it. So as long as that's okay for you, try adding this. Guarantee you, it's a hitter. It's a hitter. And while I'm at it, we all know I'm always at Starbucks. If you all have some drinks that you just swear by, it's your creme de la creme of Starbucks, drop it in the comment section. <laughs> Not that I need any encouragement to keep going to Starbucks, but... I would love to expand um, some of the drinks I get because I tend to be a creature of habit. So I just had to check back in to to, to thank. Uh, like I said, I don't know whether to be mad at Platinum D or or hug her, but baby, this here, whole nother level. seen the food you saw a little bit of the atmosphere but I wanted to check back in to give my review as it was my first time there which was Tavern on Rush husband picked it he did an excellent job usually I'm the one to pick it so he's learning he's learning but excellent atmosphere uh, Kentucky Derby is going on today, so the ladies went in there with some hats out of this world. You saw some of the men in their jackets. The uh, Kentucky Derby was all on the TVs. People just got to clapping and laughing. Even I did, girl, I don't even know what the hell I was clapping for. But I just felt like being a part of the vibe. But it was a really, really good time with the hubby and the kids. I enjoyed it. Now, if you would like to check it out, it is in the downtown area, one of those spots where you can literally park and walk and enjoy so many different activities from shopping to tour busing to um, carriage rides to just window shopping, family stuff, movies, you name it, or just sitting in the beautiful, beautiful, many, many, many parks that you can choose from. So if you are in the Chicagoland area, surrounding area, I definitely would recommend it. Everybody enjoyed their food. It is one of those restaurants that are a la carte. So don't be coming in there talking about, can I get a number one with extra cheese on the side? That ain't that type of place. So anywho, just wanted to check in, tell you it was very good because I didn't stop back in to say hey. Now we're about to have a movie night with the kids. And I think we are about to watch Night House. Is that the name of it, babe? I have no idea. Something House. Something House. I think it's Night House. But she went to the show to see it. She's she's the movie buff. 
and she strongly recommends it. So we're gonna do a family night and have a movie night. I think it's on Hulu now, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. And maybe, just maybe, if I'm not too tired, I might sneak out and go to like a cigar bar or something, but, but we'll see, we'll see. Because I told y'all in a previous vlog, when I take this slingshot off, AKA bra, I need about five to eight hours before I can put it back on. You know how that go, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all be in y'all Sunday shoes, mm-hmm, and y'all take them off and it feel like your foot swell because when you put the shoe back on, it don't feel right no more. That's my slingshot. That's my slingshot, so I need a little time to decompress before I try and put it back on. So we gonna see, we gonna see. You know, my hubby getting old. He, he like to be asleep by nine o'clock. I thought he was gonna say something, but he know the camera rolling. But anywho, I'm gonna check back in with you guys if I do step back out tonight. And if not, I will absolutely be back to tell all my women happy Mother's Day, whether you have birthed them, raised them, just loved them or cared for them. I will be back to check in with you guys. Hey Tribe, here is Tay. Hey. I know y'all never met her. This is my bestie from the best in times two, divide by three, and come back around in square root <laughs> on the right. You know what? My you bestie of the good. bestie. She has gotten me out the house. We are go we have not seen each other since. It's been eight months, y'all. Don't let a lie. Time. Long time. <laughs> but it's been more Probably my six, fault. Maybe more maybe my maybe. fault. And she's out of town all the time. So it is Mother's Day. <laughs> Had to make some time for her. Going to the recess. Recess Chicago. Recess Chicago West and West Loop. Loop. <laughs> West Loop. So once we get inside, I'll show you around because I'm ready to eat. Eat, eat. I want yeah. that. I want that fat girl type of food. <laughs> Don't bring me no salad and ranch dressing. I want <laughs> some food, food. Check back in a minute. Look at these faces. I had ice in mine, y'all. Okay, wait. So I hear a couple, a couple more seconds. <laughs> I am not a big shot person, mm -mm. but you do it to get the job Me done either. and get to your destination a little faster. That's mm -hmm. where you're trying to go. Mm -hmm. But good God Almighty, Whew. we don't do this often. These shots. We not. I'm, a, I'm, <laughs> I'm a cocktail person. I'm not a shot person. True that. Whew. My whole chest on fire. That was smoother than other. This must feel what acid reflux feel like. <laughs> you gotta go get some Tums, y'all. <laughs> I heard Pepsi works better. You know, this old folk conversation. You start talking about Tums and Pepsi. And Ben Gay. You know, I heard about Just this. Just for my knees. <laughs> I heard about this Chinese oil. We, we gonna talk about it. Wanna go a little at a time? Okay. Which one should I pour in? You want some in there or no? Yep, a little bit of both. Okay, hold on. All right, I think I put enough on them. All right. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> hey, Tribe, what's up? Hey, round three came a little <laughs> bit sooner than we thought. Right. <laughs> so we have the, I don't even know what it is. 
here. We have these at the top. Lord, don't let me set myself on fire. We have these two. We got one of each. You all can see it. With an extra shot because mm -hmm. the, the bestie is extra. So now I don't even know which is which though. It don't matter. So I'm gonna sip on both of them. Okay. So and it's like a slushy drink as you can see, but this damn fire is starting to melt it. And then we're gonna add, I have vodka, you have an extra shot of tequila. All right. So this is gonna be three shots, Lord Jesus. I ain't get this much drinking since about, ooh, about 2001. <laughs> I swear, every time we get together. But that's going to be a story time. That's going to be a story time to tell you some of the stories this fool has what? done to me. I have fallen out of cars. We have been... That was a drunk, a real drunk. Parked on the side of the road looking at each other like, we're going to drive. How are we going to get home? The birds are chirping. It is morning. <laughs> and we still sitting there stuck. Talking about soaking in Epsom salt because our legs and knees hurt. Oh, we ain't that old, but I swear our bodies, yeah. It feels old. So, anywho, I'm gonna put the vibe out to burn my eyelashes oh, no. on. It feels so good. Although we're outside, it's getting a little bit cooler. It's about 3 30. But it is it is really, really nice. So, again, we are at Recess in the West Loop. If you all are in the Chicagoland area and would like to come and check it out, they have indoor and outdoor. And it is um, more than enough space to spread out. So I, I recommend and We have been tearing up. This is our second order of these motherfuckers. Buffalo. Chicken buffalo way. wings. Um, they are, they superb. But we're gonna get two more orders. So I'm gonna take some home to the, um, the hubby and the kids. So I'm gonna get two to go. But it is really, really, really good. And I'm a funny eater. So hopefully you all can hear me. I know it's a little loud and I didn't put my mic on the camera so okay, are we pointing in here or are we taking a straight shot? Um, no let's do half. Half? Okay. Or Two, half? Three. Okay. But now we got mixed it up. Oh man. I need it. <laughs> you got me look. She wasting the damn tequila. See that's why you can't have drunks do shit. Drunks do shit. Now she gonna get her ass oh no that's gonna be me that gets sick. I'm gonna say her ass gonna get sick. Why? Cause we've been taking shots of Patron. No, that's gonna be you. Patron was clear. She's switching the dark liquor. Don't call me at two o'clock in the morning to my sis Wait, come get me. You did that. You told her what to get. So what's that? Why you looking up? Because tequila goes in that one, and this one is vodka. Oh, oh. But you don't like vodka, so I thought I did good. You did good. But it don't matter. It's all gonna go down the same way. <laughs> First. We are in the second oh. quarter of the new year. Yes. I don't Keep know. it going. Uh, oh, we're not doing this first? Uh -uh. Oh, okay. She said, mm-mm. This is good. Mm -hmm. That is huge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> but it looks we, so good. We fat. We done had three orders of this. Bitch, you no, didn't say we fat. You oh, fat. I'm fat. Okay. I'm fat. Don't be speaking for me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face. He looks Look, he got his whole, his whole little. <laughs> he got his whole okay. napkin in his shirt. Right, he came out. He had the seafood boil. Like you understood the assignment. He did. <laughs> he ain't mad at him. He, he got it. <laughs> Thank you, though, but it looks so good. It looks so it good. What is that barbecue beef or just regular? Mm. It look good. Though. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you better take your medicine. <laughs> I think Walgreens. But sometimes no, the pain is worth it. Won't black up. <laughs> sometimes the pain is worth it. <laughs> no, not at all. Your son, right? Because y'all look like twins. The things we do as mothers for our kids. You willing to take a hit <laughs> for the baby? Right <laughs> So are we taking a shot? She's still him and the horn. I hope y'all peep this. Yeah. Man. <laughs> I don't want it. She gonna be sick. I'm trying I to get stay away from clear. Her. I'm one of those. If you start clear, end clear. Because I have experience mixing it and baby. I thought you had dirt with me. No, bitch. I got light. I know how to start. See me. what she do to me? This is torture. Oh, yeah. All right. Drink to that. Mm. <clears throat> oh, my God. Why do she do me like this? <laughs> uh, 
the look on our face, it's gonna make y'all not want to drink no more. We sorry. <laughs> it's good though. <laughs> you <sorry. laughs> That shit's so nasty, it's good. Okay. I'm done for real. We done done. <laughs> this is why I have to be in the gym drinking like this. Cause of her. <laughs> I don't know what type of vodka that was. Ooh. That shit was harsh. It was top <laughs> Basically, I don't even think it was medium. I think they got that shit from the bottom. Oh my god. Mm. Mm -mm. Did y'all hear her call me fat? Look, look, my face got <laughs> serious in the motherfucker. You see this? She said we. I mean me. Nobody I, else. I was speaking mistake. French. It was a, it was a mistake. <laughs> she said she was speaking French. <laughs> she know to clean that Boule up. Because <laughs> the minute I turn this camera off, I'm like, what the fuck would you do? <laughs> She said, we say. So you have me, I said you laughing at us? <laughs> yeah, you do that. We, we say. <laughs> I'm back in the gym trying to do my thing. But she said, we fat. Uh-uh. I didn't mean that. I was speaking French. Sorry. <laughs> Look. We're good, y'all. Fluffy people have. You know what? But now I'm fluffy. That means fat. Don't fluffy sound better than fat? <laughs> yeah, it do. She said fat to me, motherfucker. <laughs> I said fluffy. <laughs> She's such an a-ho. She's an a-ho, y'all. All I'm saying is. Don't let her is, fool, y'all. All I'm saying <laughs> is. When you go to sleep, you want a fluffy blanket. You want a fluffy pillow. I'm not gonna pay you. you like fluffy mashed potatoes. Don't nobody want no lumpy shit. I'm not fluffy. Fluffy's good. You like fluffy teddy bears. Fluffy. Fluffy's good. When you say fat, you just think cholesterol and a heart attack ready to happen. And I done said, I done gained my little motherfucker. Trials and tribulations. What we call that COVID weight. Now I done lost my little six pounds. I'm probably gonna gain that shit back today. But I'm gonna be back in the gym tomorrow. But see, a friend gonna keep it real. So where I thought I was looking good, that bitch said, no, you fat. <laughs> I mean, we both fluffy. Hey, but when you are comfortable in your own skin, baby, let me tell That's you something. All that you ain't gotta F be a size okay, six. Okay. F and matter, okay. You don't have to be a size six to be beautiful. So if you are fluffy, you are fluffy, you are fluffy fabulous. And if you are slender, you are slenderly pleasing. And if you are, Oh on a grander scale, you are grandedly grand. <laughs> Be comfortable in the skin. Your this motherfucking fire pit has got my damn necklace burning my chest. <laughs> That's what I'm like, yeah. I'm like, something is sizzling on my chest. Because <laughs> you got it all in the day. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Talking about menopause, I'm looking forward to it. Actually, I am too. I just feel like when you are done, why you gotta keep suffering? Why can't you just say factory? I appreciate. It. You know how they do when they lay motherfuckers off. We thank you for the work you have provided. We wish you well. Oh Lord, we got set fire the straws and went in the damn fire pit. And just and just lay people off when you know you are done with children. So if you're 28 and you're done, why you got to keep having menstruals until you're 40? Why? I want to be able to plan a trip whenever I want to plan. I don't want to have to plan a trip around, you know, that time of the month on the calendar. <laughs> I don't want to do it. Why? Oh I've been done having kids for, for almost 20 years. Why well, I still got to go in and out three at Walgreens? If I said, girl, let me make sure my knee day ain't expired. They they're going to ticket me out here. Mm -mm. Oh, oh, Lord. Because, you know, when you come downtown, Oh, they say I right, expire soon, girl. I got, oh, no. I, got I got four minutes. Y'all see the countdown? I'm go, I'm go add some more dollars. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna add some more dollars. I'm gonna add some more dollars. At the session, I'm gonna choose a time. Okay, we good. We oh, good. We I got 33 more minutes. Oh, Tell her oh, happy Mother's Day. <laughs> Sorry, Mother. Yeah, I'm sorry. Good morning, good morning, good morning, Trinity. Good morning, Trinity. Good morning, good morning, good morning, Trinity. You gonna peek in, Princess Jada? Princess Jada is so nervous. She, it, We are on our way. 
it's windy so my apologies and i'm holding the camera i'm not i don't have it on my tripod so it might be might get a little motion sickness but we are downtown she is due to have her morning scope to figure out what's been going on i mentioned her situation a couple vlogs ago with her having some acid reflux type of situations going on so we're here figuring out exactly what's going on she is so super duper nervous because they have to put her to sleep and you know put the microscope and all of that down um her throat so i'm gonna check back in with you tribe next one jay the next one i'm gonna check in with you once we get her settled and we are anticipating being here for three to four hours so y'all see she already got my starbucks in her hand mama had to make sure he left in enough time so pray for my baby tribe and i'll check back in let me be great let you be great mm -hmm. are you hired <laughs> Shh, i told myself i wasn't gonna act like them people on the video i was waking up so shh. Uh -huh. That's okay, because this man came in the waiting room. I don't know if it was his wife or his girlfriend. She says, how are you? He said, I'm high girl. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's so funny. <laughs> mm. Oh, my gosh. So is your throat sore at all? I think I was coughing like twice. Mm, was, not quite sure, huh? I asked him to give me my purse. <laughs> my you wanted your purse and your phone right away. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, well, you look, you look very relaxed. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> people. Oh, my what, God. What people are you talking about? The people that be waking up from, like, getting their wisdom teeth pulled. Oh, stuff. when you were watching YouTube to see what to expect. I just see it on TikTok. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Just like a teenager. Oh my, that's wondering. Jody, you're out there. Why are you all on your <laughs> cheek? <laughs> Would you stop? They probably hear you. Jada, you're the one laughing. Why are you telling me to stop? I'm not doing anything. Oh, oh. I'm going to have to show my kids this video. <laughs> oh, jeez. Like these scams of sick of these scam people. I don't care how high you are. You're going to make sure you got your phone in your hand, though. Mm -hmm. You expecting a call? Yeah. Who's calling? Let me call Jamar. <laughs> you can't even hold the phone. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Why are you so loud? Don't say nothing crazy. My mama right <laughs> Why are you so loud, Jada? Jesus. Oh my God. Lord, you hiding that I thing. I wanted to. <laughs> I'm crying. I can't. I can't. This case. Jada, they're going to put you out. You better be quiet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I think they put my glasses back on me because I could have sworn it took them off. Why are your eyes watering? Is because you're laughing hard? Or what I don't are you? No. It's just one well, Why are you struggling to keep finding your eye? <coughs> oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. <coughs> oh, my God. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, my oh, God. God. Oh, my. I just woke up like three seconds ago and I asked for my phone. So, you didn't ask for your mother first? You asked for your phone? I didn't even know I was. Oh. I know you don't remember anything. You, you remember going to sleep and then you wake up in recovery. You don't remember anything. I'm okay. You okay? She, she can't stop laughing. <laughs> the giggles. Yeah. 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 Let me take your AV out, okay? Okay. You feeling okay still? Mm -hmm. No changes, no complaints? No. Good. All right, tape's coming off. You didn't send any goofy texts, did you? No, I called my boyfriend. <laughs> All right. I was hesitant to give it to you, but you, no, I have you assured control. me. I'm okay. Perfect. And then I told her, scared as you were, you didn't ask for your mom first. <laughs> she wanted yeah, your first, cell phone. Uh, yeah. No, I'm okay. I asked about. I mom. watched a lot of people on anesthesia. Like they be on TikTok. 
It'd be funny. <laughs> All right, so just a quick reminder for the rest of your day today, no driving, mm -hmm. no working, no mm -hmm. alcohol, no exercise, no marijuana if you partake in that. Just mm -hmm. nothing strenuous or to make you extra sleepy. Okay. Okay, go home and take it easy. Eat, sleep, and rehydrate. Okay. Let your body recoup. Let this medicine fade away. Okay? okay. Take a nice nap when you get home. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. She's like, no problem. <laughs> okay. 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 She's not remembering any of this. <laughs> that's, that's why you're okay. here. I'm here. <laughs> you, go. you got it. Typically, you can eat whatever you want, but Dr. Cavett usually, um, with the upper scopes, mm -hmm. tends to have their patient, his patients, um, do, sometimes he'll start them on clears until dinner tonight. Okay. He'll come in and talk to you guys. Okay. And then...